This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a nano mesh that keeps UV coordinates when converted to geometry? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have an example file here loaded in. So this is just a wheel cap here. Now this wheel cap consists of one single subtool here. It has a few subdivisions. As UVs, so you can see underneath the UV map tab here, the delete UV button is active, and it has a texture map that's being applied. So let's say I have a model like this, and now I want to use this model as a nano mesh, and then when I convert that nano mesh to geometry, I want to make sure these UVs hold, so then I can reapply this texture. So how can I go by doing that? So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a nano mesh brush. And to do this, we first need to create a insert mesh brush and then convert that insert mesh brush into a nano mesh brush. So I'm just going to position my subtool here like this. So just have it in the direction facing that you want to draw it out as. I'm going to go to the brush palette up here and open this up. And I'm going to click this create insert mesh button. Now, since I only have one single subtool in this file, you'll notice that the create insert multi mesh button is grayed out. So if I had multiple subtools here, I'd have the ability to create an insert mesh brush with multiple parts. But since I only have one subtool, I can only use the create insert mesh. So I'm just going to click this button here, and you get a little dialog, and I'm just going to click new to this. And now this is going to create a new insert mesh brush. So now that I have this insert mesh brush created, I can now convert this insert mesh brush into a nano mesh brush. So I'm going to go back to the brush palette up here and open this up. And now I'm going to click create nano mesh brush. So this is going to take that insert mesh or that insert multi mesh brush and now it's going to convert it to a nano mesh brush and it's going to give me a new Z modeler brush. So now I have a new Z modeler brush selected here and if I just scroll up to the top here and now select say a plane object and turn on my poly frames. And now if I hover over a poly here you can see that this Z modeler brush has been defaulted to the action of insert nano mesh and if I simply click and drag this is going to apply that insert mesh now as a nano mesh. So this is going to allow me to apply this to a single poly on the surface of my model. Now if I want to apply the nano mesh here across all the polygons of my model here, let me just undo this quick. And as I draw out, I can hold down the shift key and this is going to use the poly group that's already on that surface. And now I can populate the entire poly group here with that single nano mesh object. So now that I have this nano mesh object applied, I can come now here to the nano mesh tab and open this up. And in here I can change different features. So I can change the size, I can change random distribution. And so I can just take that object that was that single insert mesh and now I can deform it across that surface. So once you're happy with your changes you've made with the nano mesh, let's say now you want to convert it to geometry. So you'd come to the nano mesh tab here, open up this inventory tab here, and you'd click one to mesh, which would take the index you have selected and convert it to a model. And so if I click this, you'll see that I now have that part converted to geometry, but you'll notice that the texture map that has been applied has now disappeared. So you may think, well, maybe I just need to relink the texture. So you can scroll down the bottom here and open up this texture map tab, and then you can say come through here and click, and then try to select a new texture map. But you're gonna see it's gonna tell you that your mesh does not have UV mapping. So what has happened here is that when you apply a nano mesh to an object, you want to make sure that the object has UV coordinates as well. So the plane object here did not have UVs. So even though I applied a nano mesh with UV coordinates to this mesh, when it's converted to geometry, it's going to take the properties of the mesh that you apply it to. So since my original plane here did not have UVs, those UVs did not transfer. So I'm just going to undo this here and get back to the version where I have the nano mesh still active. And with this active, I'm just going to come over here and turn this off. And now I just want to apply a quick set of UVs to this plane. So these can be any UVs. They don't have to be precise. You just need UVs. So I'm going to navigate down here at the bottom to the UV map panel, open this up. I'm going to go to create, and I'm just going to click this UVP button which is going to assign a set of planar UVs to my mesh. Another good option for applying UVs quickly is this AUV tiles or the PUV tiles. So I'm just going to click this UVP button here, and this is going to apply UVs. And now you can see in my UV map tab here, this delete UV button is active. So now I have UV coordinates on this plane. 
So now I can go back up to that nano mesh tab, turn my nano mesh back on, which still should look the same as it was before I applied the UVs. And now I can come down here and click this one to mesh. This is going to convert that nano mesh that had UV coordinates now to geometry. You're going to notice I'm going to get that same effect where it looks like I have lost my texture map. But now if I go to the texture map tab here and open this up, and now come and select that texture map that corresponded to that wheel cap, and just click this, you'll see now that texture map has been applied. So to get a nano mesh to hold its UV coordinates, you just need to make sure that the mesh that you're applying the nano mesh to has a set of UVs. So now that I have this model here with that texture map applied, I can get rid of this plane. So I can hold Control and Shift, make sure I have the Select Rectangle Brush selected, and click that to select the plane, and then click it again to hide it. And now I can go back up to the Geometry tab here, go to Modify Topology, and do a Delete Hidden. And now I'm just going to be left with that nano mesh part, and it has a texture map and a set of UVs. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.